Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to cut out your applique pieces. I will say I'm only going to be doing this for designs that have a lot of applique pieces or like harder to cut applique pieces. Um, because when you have the harder ones, the twists and turns and all la 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 la, all that, it gets hard to cut and it takes a bit longer. So um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. Um, we're going to be turning the embroidery designs into SVGs. That way we can upload them to our Cricut software or to Silhouette and cut from there. So I'm gonna be using Embrilliance Essentials. So the link for that will be down below. Embrilliance Essentials is an embroidery software that works with Mac and PC computers. So just wanted to mention that. Um, and I'm gonna be using a design I already have on my computer that is ready to go with Axie for an order. So yes, if you're excited for this video, please give it a thumbs up. And let's get right into it. So let's go into Embrilliance. This is the design that I want to embroider. And you see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 applique pieces. It's quite a bit. Um, normally I would cut this all out as one because it's just one color. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we're gonna turn this into an SVG. That way our cutting machines can read it. So the first step right here, as you can see, is the placement stitch. What is a placement stitch? It'll stitch on the shirt and show you where you need to place your fabric. So we're gonna go through all the placement stitches and save them as SVGs, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right here. So here is the color, obviously first, uh, first applique position step, and I'm gonna click down here where it has the color. I'm gonna click it, and it's gonna go to, it's either gonna be color or applique. And we're gonna hit applique position. And here it says cutting. It says 1.5 millimeter. This would cut the exact size um, of your design. Um, but I wanna make it just a tiny bit bigger so that the uh, tap down stitch, which is the stitch that goes on top, actually can hit it and it covers it. So I'm gonna do 1.6 and I'm gonna click save. And I'm gonna save it to my desktop. And I'm going to name it, what is the waffle bottom? three waffle bottom SVG save 300 DPI hit okay so the next step is the tack down which we are going to be using then again now we have the yellow E so again we have to do the same thing click on it applique applique position 1.6 it automatically adjusted it click save and I'm going to save this as yellow what was this the E yellow e because there's two e's in here and save it okay and again this is a tack down we don't need that now we're gonna go to the next one which is the lavender h again applique position 1.6 save and uh lav h okay and then we don't need this one that's tack down um here we are at the pink R, applique position, save. And then we'll save it as pink R. Okay. Is that the last one? No, we still have the T and the H. Now, obviously I don't want to cut one whole piece because uh, there'll be a lot of wasted space between. So we can just slice that in the uh, cutting software. So right click. Applique position, save as T E Aqua, and save. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead to the uh, cutting software which I use, Cricut Design Space. All right, so we're gonna go click on upload, and you've seen I've done it already, but I'm just gonna show you guys again. We're gonna upload, browse, and you can start with the three waffle bottom, click open. And you say it makes the outline, we want it to be a cut image, and we're gonna click upload. All right, and here it is. And we're gonna upload each and every piece. For these, you gotta do them one at a time. Upload. It'd be nice if you could do them all at once. Upload. Um, keep going. Upload. Upload. Alright, did we get them all? T 
T H R E E. Yes, I believe so. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select them all. I'm on a MacBook, so it's Command Click. So these are what we need. I'm gonna click Add to Canvas. All right, so here are all of the pieces, and here on the side you have all like the files that you named. So the T E Aqua Pink, Lavender Yellow, Three Waffle Bottom. So I know the Three Waffle Bottom needs to be brown. I'm just gonna hit brown, and then I'm also going to weld it because um, it just makes it easier when you're cutting it. So I'm gonna click on them all and hit weld. So I can move that as one piece. Yellow. So I'll make it yellow. Um. This one is the aqua, and this is pink. And we're gonna have to adjust these because obviously there's like a whole cutout, so we have to fix that as well. And then the H is supposed to be lavender. All right, so we'll start with this one because obviously I don't want this much space between them because it's gonna waste space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click, I have it selected, I'm gonna click slice. So now it's separated them. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's how you move those separate. And then for this one, you also want to hit slice. And then you're just going to delete both pieces. And now you have your piece. So now we're just going to click make it. Now, I did try using the rotary cutter tool because I do have a Cricut Maker 3. And it was like wonky donkey jagged edges it took way longer so i just used the uh same settings i used for my glitter heat transfer vinyl so everyday iron on and then more pressure um, that's what i used and it was a lot cleaner and it was so much quicker to cut so you could put them all on one mat but just for the sake of showing you you do not mirror these um and here is each piece on each mat um I do have a 24 inch mat so like if I wanted to cut a bunch of these I would just stack them all and just cut 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 so if you didn't color them like if you didn't want to color them you pretty much highlight them all and then like change it to like where's the color option is there no whole color option it's been a while really you maybe choose these one at a time so like if I did them all Oh, dang. Purple. You really can't? Oh. Okay, make this purple. Make this purple. All right. So, I could just put it all on the mat. And then have to remember what goes where. So, like, I know this is the bottom of the letter. I know that I have an E. And they're the same exact size. So, both E's. One's pink, one's teal. So... Here's the two, uh, two, I mean, aqua colors, so I can put them here. And this is its own color. The R is pink and the H is lavender. And I can put like a whole strip here of that fabric, a whole strip here of that fabric, um, just so that I can just cut out a bunch instead of doing one at a time. But again, for the sake of this video, we're just gonna cut one at a time. It's a little, no, you know what? Nope, we're just gonna cut them all. So I'm gonna put my 12 by 24 inch mat. And you can also duplicate your project, so I actually might do that. So we'll duplicate it by four and click apply. Um, because I don't want to do this, it is enough for four orders, so I'm just going to move this down to 15. Um, I really don't know if I need that much space, but we shall see. All right, then we got four E's. Set these at nine. Three, four. And then we have four more E's, which I will start at six. I'm just leaving space between so that I don't accidentally like overlap fabric and that it's just a lot easier. All right, the P's can stay up there. The H's, we will start. Let me move the T's out the way. All 
All right. And like, I could just put the T's down here. Where did everything go? What the heck? <laughs> I was like, what happened? All right. So we can move these down. Start at 19 and just put them all here. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get the fabric prepped, and I'm going to have them um, with heat and bond light attached. I won't have like the clear the, the paper backing on it. I'll just have the heat and bond and peel this piece off and apply it on my mat. My mat is an old mat so it's not super sticky which is a good thing you don't want a super sticky mat because it may actually peel off the heat and bond um so if they have like a light a light tack or whatever you call it mat you can try that light grip or whatever so i'm gonna go ahead and um get the fabric ready and then i'll show you guys how i put it on all right so here is our crusty <laughs> crusty mat so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this close to the heat and bond. So I want it to be straight. Let's see the top, be like this. So I'm gonna cut close. So that is straight. Press it down. And then the next one will start at three inches, which is the lavender. All right, next one start at six, and it is the yellow ease. Is this long as heck one? It's gonna be 12 inches starting at nine. And then the last one is the khaki. Starting at 12. All right, now we put it on the cricket. And then everyday iron on, more pressure, and put it on the machine. It's gonna go ahead and start cutting. All right, all the pieces are cut. So now you could see them. Now we just pull them up. How did I totally forget? I totally forgot to take this off. Well, it still worked anyway, see? Pieces still came off. That made me laugh. But you can see all the cutouts here. <laughs> totally was supposed to take this off. I mean, I guess it's up to you. You don't have to. But... Y'all see, it still worked. That's funny. See, what happens when you're multitasking? See the cutout lines? This one just totally look. <laughs> it just totally came off. Reminds me of vinyl. <laughs> Super simple. Oh shoot. <laughs> I'll just get these and put them in a container. Let me hold this.
Look at that perfect clean cut. <laughs> so first we're gonna start, cause this is the first piece of the applique, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting it on the machine. You're also gonna need like a little iron. I could either do this on the machine, cause I have the tack down stitch already started. You need to put all those khaki pieces on top and then heat it. I could either heat it while it's on here or I could take it off, it's totally up to you. All right, like I said, I have this little tiny mini iron that I got from Amazon. So I'm gonna be using it to heat the pieces on. So this is the first piece. And hit the camera. I'm just going to heat it because it has the heat and bond on it. Here are the pieces, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish the design. All right, guys, so here is the finished look. Definitely a lot easier than trying to cut <laughs> all the pieces. And again, I was able to cut four sets. So if you're just doing one, I think it's about the same time as cutting it out. But if you do a lot, I think it is a lot more time saving. So yeah, again, I wouldn't do this on like super easy designs. I would do this for like harder designs with a lot of pieces or, um, like, do you know the blanket stitch ones or like the, uh, not zigzag, you could do zigzag as well. That I have a hard time cutting those out because like, they just look not good when I cut them. But if I can use the Cricut to cut the pieces out, I feel like they'll be even and they'll look a lot better. So see if I do another one like this. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. Also make sure you hit the bell notification that way you're notified every single time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye.